Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. A little short video on some different tools, but mainly drawing a flower with the polygon tool. So we're going to take the polygon tool, set on five sides. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page, which really doesn't matter. Then you're going to want to take your shape tool and you're going to want to kind of select everything or at least a couple of nodes and right click and turn them into a curve and then take that one and just kind of bring it in and then just bring your handles out and make it kind of what you think a flower might look like. It doesn't matter. I mean, you could change it quite a bit. Uh, it is it is kind of making almost perfect flower. I mean, a perfect shape. It's not perfect because uh, Mother Nature, I mean, it's doing the same thing on all the curves, but um, you know, it's not perfect. Now I just colored it yellow. I took away the outline. Well, you know what, if I didn't take away the outline right now, I could go in and change the outline to a different color. We could, um, we could right click on green right now and make it more than a hairline. I actually did that later and I'm going to show you how to do that. I don't think the outline is going to cause any problem with my interactive inter interactive fill tool you see it doesn't really change it and then kind of go over here to elliptical and put that in the center and then just kind of play with your color maybe bring in a dark orange in the middle bring it down a little whoop if you don't hit that slide bar so you've got that now i put a center one on that one i'm not going to on this one but then what we could do is make a duplicate and nudge it over with my arrow keys and go change it up a little bit for the next one. Um, let's put a little bit more orange in the back row. We can slide that up. And because that's going to be behind now and we've got our um, everything perfect. Now I'm going to rotate this guy. Ever what do you think? I want to put that one on the back. So I'm going to go object order, back of page. And it kind of looks like a flower. Now I put a center dot in there, but I think it, you know, maybe even a, a darker center dot would work better, you know, on a flower, maybe a darker brown. Um, RGB doesn't have too many browns up top, but we'll, we'll go like that and take away the outline by right clicking. And you could change that up. We could actually even make it look better. Go up to fix blur and gussy and blur that dot a little bit so it doesn't look so pronounced. That looks pretty good. I'm I'm glad I don't have my make my living as a uh, graphic artist, but just showing you a few, few tools. Now, if you would have forgot to put the outline on there. You could always add an outline, but one thing you can always do is take a rectangle tool, take the smart fill tool and fill it in and get that shape and then move that down. Always make sure you're off the page and then fill that in and then left click, right click, and you've got an outline and you can make it, you have to actually click off that tool to get something thicker. And then you can always nudge it right back. I didn't think about an outline until after I'd already made my flower. And you could, you know, change the difference of the flower color. I think I actually did. I think the back is a little bit uh, darker green. Just an idea. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.